So welcome to Bolton Arena. We're here today for Stars and Cars. This is all in aid of charity, Derrian House. And here you can see all the movie cars and TV cars you could ever wish for. So we've got plenty of cars from the movies. Outside is all about Transformers. So a lot of the, uh, just a lot of the cars make all of the, the noises as well. He has a dead body down there. And uh, we've got the police here as well. That's it. And uh, we'll have a, a walk around here. So the main arena is actually in there, as you can see, but outside here, we've got um, plenty of uh, Transformers cars. There's uh, bumblebees, various bumblebees, in fact. Let's have a, a wander around here. All the Camaros, of course. And uh, we'll nip through. There's a bumblebee, of course, there. And we'll nip around the back, and you can see this um, Countach uh, replica, which uh, we've certainly seen better days. <laughs> I don't know whether was this featured in the movie. I'm not sure about that, but um, yeah, definitely seen better days. That Countach replica. There is a lovely Beetle, of course. And then here we've got our uh, Transformers truck. And I'll just show you the sign on the side. No robots left in a vehicle overnight. Right, let's head inside then and see what we can find. Right, soon we go. It's so busy in here, it's unbelievable. Now, if you want to come down, uh, they do this uh, every year in April. And certainly, if you're, uh, if you're not here today, of course, I would certainly get on the internet and look at starsandcars.co.uk and that is where you can get all of your, uh, all of your tickets. Now, behind me is the uh, Jurassic Park exhibition. There is a big queue for it there, as you can see, but uh, I've actually got some backstage passes, so come with me and we'll go round the back and I can show you all this exhibition close up. So here's the Jurassic Park Jeep, let's have a look inside. The great thing is about these, uh, these meetups is that everybody comes along and they always have all of the, um, the props and everything. Check that nice little TV in there. There's your uh, Jurassic Park uh, truck, of course, there, the old train truck. Then uh, the iconic Jeep, of course. So let's have a look uh, around here. If you remember the, um, the huge dinosaur chasing it, and has it got it in the mirror? Yes, it has. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. So, there we are, that is your uh, Jurassic Park Jeep. Check that out, it's even got the uh, the winch on the front as well. There we go. And then we've also got um, a few other, uh, we've got Lara Croft here. Uh, I can only imagine that Lara Croft is earning some serious money. It's all for charity um, because um, she looks fabulous. And uh, there we are. She's hanging out of the side of the Lara Croft uh, wagon. We'll, we'll whiz round here. And uh, they do do pictures, and you can see the queue there. You can have your pictures taken with uh, all of the celebrities that are here. Uh, all they ask for is a donation, and all of the money raised goes to the uh, Derrian House uh, Hospice for kids. So here's, here's Lara. Now, check out this one. We've got the Indiana Jones car, the Fiat 500 look. Check that out. And Indy's there as well. He's made it all the way over from the museum, and he's come to Bolton, of all places. <laughs> so you don't only see Peter Kay in Bolton, you see Indiana Jones as well. Check out that, the Fiat 500. Wow, that is incredible inside. I mean, look at the size of it. It's tiny. Right, let's go and have a wander down yonder. I've got to say, everybody is so friendly here. I mean, I, I was here early because uh, I'm actually exhibiting a car here, so I managed to get in early, and that's how I got my backstage pass because I am an exhibitor. So I'm going to um, I'm going to nip through the exit now, and uh, there we are. So we can just we can just jump the queue a bit. And the first thing I lay my eyes on, would you believe it? It's the 18 van. <laughs> Look at that. That is unbelievable. And I've got to say, the paint job on this van is out of this world. Now you might be wondering why it's grey on top. People say it's the Mandela effect, don't they? That, oh no, it was all black with a red stripe. Well it wasn't. 
it was actually the contrast on the old TVs. So it made it look like all of the van was actually black, but it wasn't. If you go back and have a look now on modern televisions, you'll see that the top of the van was indeed sprayed gunmetal grey. So this is perfect. Fabulous van there. You could, if you ever wanted to be BA Barakis, jump in there. And uh, they got some, uh, they got some weapons as well. No doubt they've got a blowtorch and uh, some of the things in the back of the car. Now, next to the 18 van is, what about that? Now, I've got to say, you do see quite a few 18 vans knocking about, but what about that? It's Faces Corvette. If you remember the face man, Dirk Benedict. There he is. Dirk Benedict there, he was in Battlestar Galactica and, of course, the A-Team. And you, you just never see, you, you never see uh, Faces Corvette anywhere. You see quite a few A-team vans knocking about. And the great thing about this one is, if we just, uh, if we just whiz in and uh, we'll reset the camera, you can see it's been autographed. There's Dirk Benedict, face man, and it's also been autographed by Murdoch. Howling Mad Murdoch, Dwight Schultz, both from the A-team. Of course, faces Corvette, how about that? Now apparently, the owner is telling me it's actually quite a slow car. But it's so iconic, isn't it? Go. If you had a choice, would you pick the A-Team van or would you pick Faces Corvette? I'm not sure. I'd probably go for the Corvette. Maybe. Right, next to... <laughs> basically got a shock then, that lad. Next to Face Man is uh, Robocop's car. So here we are. It's uh, Robocop's the, the, the Detroit Patrice Police Cruiser. There you go. And I do know that Robocop is knocking about here somewhere. So we'll, we'll whiz around the back. We'll have a look in there. He's got, he's got everything in there. TVs, the whole lot. Oh, get the gun, Ted. And of course, they do allow some of the kids to get in the cars. If the owners allow it, then they, it's no problem at all. Right, next to Robocop is Eleanor. Check this out, Eleanor from the, the um, Gone in 60 Seconds, isn't it? Gone in 60 Seconds. So let's have a look inside Eleanor. There we go, look at that. I'm not sure. Did they have one of these in the Fast and the Furious? I'm not sure if they did. Sorry. I'm getting in everybody's way now, so... What about that? Eleanor there. What a car. Absolutely amazing. Right next to Eleanor, you need a cowboy hat and a moustache because this is Bandit's car from Smokey and the Bandit. Check that out. There we are. And there's Marty McFly taking pictures, look. Uh, so this is a 4.9-litre engine. Bandit's car, if you remember, uh, which was Burt Reynolds, of course, from the late 70s. Even on the door, it says there, the Bandit. Just look at those wheels. Absolutely brilliant. It's got the big speakers in the back for your sounds, of course. Trans Am, check it out. Um, right, I'm getting in everybody's way now. Right here, before Torino, Starsky and Hutch. Check this out, the Starsky and Hutch car. So so many uh, so many gorgeous cars here, and we've even got the uh, the red light, the obligatory red light on the top. And if you can see inside there, we'll whiz around. Here we go around the front. Wow, check that out. Does that look amazing or what? Imagine having a drive in that. Next oh, yeah. to the Ford Torino is Sonny Crockett's car from Miami Vice. What about that? Now, I've got to tell you that this is one of three white Testarossas that is right-hand drive for, uh, for the UK. And uh, it's got a few finger marks on it. And we've also, of course, we've got, uh, we've got your mobile phone and we've got Crockett's badge and all the information there. I'm just going to stick my hand in and open this up. Right. There we are, so that is inside uh, the car. Now, uh, the, 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 the Miami Vice cars, they were originally black when they got the Testarossas and they ended up having to spray them white. They didn't show up very well on the nighttime shots, apparently. Uh, Crockett's original car, of course, was a black Daytona replica, but they actually had two real Testarossas. So what they ended up doing was they ended up spraying them white so that they would show up better on film. And that is the reason why the regular cars have a black or a dark blue interior, whereas the Miami Vice car had a tan interior. And the reason is, is because originally it was black and tan, and they had to respray the car. 
So there we are, Sonny Crockett's car. Fantastic, don't worry, I know the owner. That's why I was allowed to go in. Right over at the back there, we have got Batman. So let's have a walk over to um, Batman's display. Uh, as we're heading over there, let me tell you a little bit about Derian House. Now, Derian House is a hospice for children who are extremely ill, and Derian House is literally charity-driven. They only get 30% funding from the government, and to run Derian House costs £6 million a year. They do phenomenal work for kids who... Um, Kids who obviously have a horrendous time of it. Um, they also allow the parents to sleep there and they can look after 400 kids. And um, it, it really is an amazing charity. Now I've got to tell you that all of the people that have brought the cars today, they, uh, they've all donated the time and the cars for free. They didn't, uh, you know, they didn't charge Derry and House anything for doing this. And Stars and Cars is all uh, charity based as well so all of the money raised today at Star Stars and Cars goes to Derian House so I need to just have a little wander up here I'll tell you some more about Derian House a little bit later on we're going to go and have a look at this selection of Batman cars and I'm told that one man owns five of them so maybe we've got the real life Bruce Wayne let's go and have a look right let's start over here then we've got the uh, Gotham Police Cruiser <laughs> the great thing to think about all of these uh, replica cars uh, is the fact that if you saw them just bombing along down the street, you'd be like, oh my goodness, look at that. I mean, I'd slow down if one of these pulled up behind me. The size of the car is absolutely crazy. Uh, right, let's get on to the proper Batman cars then. Now, now, this is absolutely wild, isn't it? I mean, take a look at this. Again, I'm led to believe that one person owns five of these cars so look at the size of the back tires on there i mean that it's just insane isn't it and when you think about where do you start building one of these you know because obviously it's not like you can just go and buy the bits from uh, halfords or auto zone or or anywhere like that you You've literally got a you got a 3D print, or you've got to hand build all of these cars uh, so around this side here. So there we are. That's that's the company there, charactercars.com. Check them out on the website, maybe. Uh, and uh, of course, we've got the the dashboard, and uh, everything works apparently, even the machine guns. So let's move on. Now, this uh, is probably my favourite Batman car. It's the Tumbler. If you remember this from, uh, I believe it was Christian Bale's films, The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, this is, 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 is my favourite Batmobile out, out of all of them. Christian Bale has signed the car as well. Check that out. And of course, have a look at the dash. We've got more switches in there than Knight Rider. We'll see Knight Rider a little bit later on. We'll go and have a, we'll go and have a chat with the owner of Kit, I think. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not David Asseloff, unfortunately. Right, so round the back, look at that. We've got four tyres around the back. I mean, isn't this incredible? What about that? Christian Bale signed as well, and look at the size of those tyres. Absolutely insane. Right, we all remember this one then, don't we? This is the Batman from the 90s. Uh, so, of course, um, Batman and um, Batman Returns and all that. Uh, I mean, this this was just, in, in its day, this was fantastic, wasn't it? I mean, the Hollywood designers made these cars. And, and again, where do you start building one of these? You know, where, where do you get the plans? I mean, maybe you can get the plans easier for the 90s models. But, um, yeah, where, where do you start? It's incredible. And there's Batman as well. We've got Batman here as well. Look, uh, little Batman. And uh, we'll just we'll whiz through there. Right, let's check around this side here as well. Got the exhaust. Loads and loads of people here, of course. Um, must be a few thousand people, loads of kids here all being looked after as well. Right, the Batman from the 60s, of course. Uh, here we are. So let's take a look at this. Now, for a lot of people, this is the iconic Batman car, isn't it? People who watched the show in the 60s and 70s. Um, this was uh, Batman, as far as everybody was concerned, until we moved along to the movie cars. And you can just imagine Adam West, can't you, in, uh, in here... Oops, nearly falling over there. So we'll whiz around this side and we'll have a 
We'll have a quick look at the dashboard there. There's the dash. That's it. Right, we'll spin around, and there is Batman and Robin's bike. And of course, uh, we can't do uh, we can't do this without having, of course, uh, Rodders and Del Boy with their, with their uh, Pratmobile. I think they used to call it, didn't they? There we are, the Pratmobile. So yeah, something for everybody here in Bolton today. It's just moved around the back. Hasn't got the bloke dolls in it. <laughs> Probably for the best. Right, so there's your Batman selection. So I'm going to take you now to the other side of the arena. And uh, they've got a selection of James Bond cars. So uh, let's go and have a look. So let's work our way through then to the other half of the arena. And uh, there's more cars in here. I'll, sh I'll show you them shortly. We've got Ghostbusters behind us. And a selection of movie cars as well but around this corner I had a look at this earlier on and I was blown away check these out right in the James Bond section there are loads and loads of Bond cars we're going to start up here with this gorgeous DBS one of the Daniel Craig cars of course now uh, we got the owner there, he's uh, graciously letting kids have a sit in it, which is really nice of them. And next to the DBS, I think it's a uh, Virage, is it? The Aston Martin. Another one of the Bond cars. They've got live entertainment on as well, uh, coming up a little bit later on. The Pound Shop boys are here, <laughs> truthfully. And uh, so there we are, the, um, this is the baby Aston, isn't it? Right next to that, the, uh, the GoldenEye Z3. Remember GoldenEye, the Z3 Roadster, which was so popular for BMW. Uh, on the back of this film and uh, do you know they're actually they're an absolutely brilliant car these little z it's not many left on the road but then we've got an older uh, I think this is the car from um, where it jumped over the lake isn't it and it did the, did the 360 in the air with Roger Moore at the wheel so let's fly around the front of this one we'll just work our way through the crowds there we are, fantastic car. Right, uh, this for me is the greatest car in this show. This is the James Bond Lotus Esprit. Um, I believe it's from The Spy Who Loved Me. It's even got the skis, okay? And these are uh, original model skis, and it's got the brackets and everything. I absolutely adore this car. I think it's completely wild. I actually prefer this one to the white Esprit, which went under the water. Talking of that, there is one of those, sorry, there is one of those down there. So, uh, now I'm, I'm gonna ask the owner if we can have a word with him, but he's eating sandwiches. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't know whether he will do or not, but uh, right, uh, let's meet the owner. Right, I got Phil with me who owns this amazing uh, James Bond uh, Lotus Esprit. Phil, how long have you had the car? Uh, around about eight or nine years now. And, uh, and, and and where did you find it? I bought it from uh, somebody down in Chelmsford. Right. Um, uh, bought it. It was this colour, but I've uh, since found the, uh, the skis, the Odin skis, which are the correct ones from the James Bond film, and uh, created some uh, racks for the skis. Yeah, the, the skis are amazing. I was just saying that on the film that these are actually the original skis, the same model of skis that were on the actual James Bond car. And, and I believe you've got another Lotus as well. I do, yeah, very similar. Light blue in colour. Um, Light blue Esprit, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So is, is this a, a turbo car? This is a turbo, Esprit turbo. It was actually uh, sold by Lotus as, as a Lotus Turbo Esprit rather than an Esprit Turbo. Um, but yeah, this particular car's also got a um, what is known as a dry sump engine, um, which is uh, quite rare. I think there was only about 147 cars made with that engine, um, rather than a traditional wet sump engine. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for showing me the car. That's okay. brilliant. Thank you very much. Right, so that was the uh, the, the red Esprit. Now we've also got the white Esprit here as well, uh, owned by a different owner, this one. So it's basically very, very similar to the red car. Now, I believe that the white one was blown up, which is why Q gave uh, Roger Moore the maroon coloured one there. So even the car that was not on screen for very long is here today. And of course, the original, this is a Series 1 Esprit, of course, 1977, somewhere around there, 76, 77. And this is the one that goes underwater. Not this actual car, unfortunately, even though it has been raining a lot this past few months, hasn't it? So this is your 
uh, original Esprit. Let's have a, a run round the back. I mean, these cars, considering that they are 1970s designs, I mean, you know, what a car. And of course, the fiberglass and they don't rust, the chassis rusts <laughs> underneath. But, um, but the actual bodywork doesn't rust. If you can find one that's had the chassis work done, well, happy days. So there are your, all of your Bond cars. Live entertainment is coming a little later on. We'll cover a little bit of that as well. Right, I'm going to go back into the other room now. So we've got two more sections in here to have a look at. We've got the Ghostbusters cars, and then we've got a selection of movie cars. So uh, I'm just going to uh, get us into the Ghostbusters enclosure so you can have a look at these. So here we are. We've, got, we've even got the Ghostbusters with us as well. Check them out. There's loads of them. There must be some uh, paranormal activity going on there, of course. Um, let's have a look around here then. So here it is, Ecto-1. And uh, you can hire this car, like film car, car hire up at UK. So this is uh, Ecto-1, of course. It's got all the toys in the back. It's even got, it's even been a Tesco look, and it's got some Tesco uh, ghosts that have been found. There's a toilet that reminds me of being in a pub in Blackpool. Uh, so let's have a look at the top, check this out. I mean, they really go to town on these cars, don't they? They're, uh, they're amazing to look at. We'll whiz around the other side and show you the other side. I mean, imagine this driving through your local town. People would just be stunned, wouldn't they? They'd be like, what on earth is going on? We're still recording. Yes, we are. So have a look at this Ecto-1. Loads and loads of people are wanting to have fair. The picture's taken with this one, of course. And uh, you can actually get dressed up as a Ghostbuster as well if you want. Check it out. Here's the other side of the car. Look at the length of that car. That is absolutely crazy. We'll just fly around here and as you can see, there is some memorabilia. Check this out. We've got the, uh, the cameras. And there uh, from Ghostbusters 2 there. And uh, we've got um, the ghost with the view with the hot dogs. I'll remember who it is in a minute, seriously. And uh, we've also got Deadpool, look. Deadpool's taxi is here in the, in the New York area. Check it out, there's Deadpool, look. He's actually in the taxi. So there's your, there's your Ghostbusters. Everybody's so friendly as well. So uh, they let you sit in the cars and they let you have fun. And you can wear proton packs if you want. Right, so that was the Ghostbusters section. What about that? Brilliant, wasn't it? And uh, so many people dressed up doing the, doing the old cosplay. I spotted Chewbacca a little bit a while ago. And he's absolutely huge, so... We'll try and catch up with Chewbacca in a little bit. Uh, right, let's have a look uh, at the final section in the main room. Right, so here we are in the, uh, the final section of the main room. There is another section next door that I want to show you. And we're going to start off with Christine. Look at this car. How stunning is this? Let's have a look inside. There we are. Christine, brilliant horror movie. If you've never seen it, uh, you, must, uh, you must give it a go. So Christine, the beautiful paintwork as well on this car. I mean, it is a, it is a real classic. This is a 1968 car, I think the owner was telling me. Uh, anyway, it's 66 years old. I've probably got my maths wrong there. I was never very good at maths, but he was telling me it's 66 years old, so it might be 1950. Probably 1958, isn't it? Right next to that, uh, Mudcuts. If you remember this, of course... Um, I think it's, was it Dumb and Dumber that this one was from? So you can actually get in the back of that if you want. And uh, Jim Carrey, wasn't it? So uh, check it out. It's like even the interior is full of uh, fur. So <laughs> there we are. The Mutz Nuts van. Fabulous. Look at that. Right, talking of vans, check this one out. Do you recognise this van here? We'll start at the back. Answers on a postcard. And then we'll have a look through the front. So if we have a look in the back there, you can see uh, somebody's been sleeping in there. And we go around the side. And if I look at the door, you'll see Hawkins Police Department. Yes, it is the uh, Hawkins van from Stranger Things. There we are, the Chief's van. What about that? Check it out. So uh, it's, that, it's a little bit like O.J. Simpson's... Uh, <laughs> Bronco, isn't it? I don't think it's a real Bronco, though. I think it's a different model, isn't it? Chevrolet. And uh, we've even got uh, one of the strangest things, bad guys in there. Uh, from Hot Fuzz. Do you remember Hot Fuzz? 
It was a fun film, wasn't it? And who would have thought that somebody would actually do a car based on hot fuzz? Now, I asked the owner about this one, and he said that when he's driving around, he has to cover up all of the stickers. <laughs> and also, the uh, the blue light on the top has to have a cover on it as well. Otherwise, he gets into bother with the real police. And next to the hot fuzz car, of course, we all know this one, don't we? It's, it's Herbie, of course. And this Herbie is in immaculate shape. It really is. I mean, just have a look at this we stand back I mean that really is a great car I'll have a quick look inside we can chuck the camera in yeah what about that fabulous isn't it we'll go around the front of Herbie so many people queuing up to have the pictures taken with the cars there we are. that really is a beautiful beautiful beetle not sure it drives itself so we're going to self-drive cars uh, we're going to nip around the other side again and we're going to have a look at Knight Rider right we're coming through and uh, we're going to have a look at the uh, the final selection of cars and then I'll show you some of the cosplayers that are here is that there's plenty of cosplayers we'll quickly nip around the back of here we'll run 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 right I'm gonna I'm gonna nip around the back of I shouldn't really do this but I've got an exhibit as pass so we should be okay Right, so there it is, there is Kit from Knight Rider. I was having a chat with the owner earlier on, he was telling me all about the car. It is a Trans Am of course, there's, a, there's Michael keeping an eye on things. Now this car does talk, it's got all the gadgets as well. We'll show you around the other side, he's got all the Hot Wheels toys too. We'll nip round the back because, most importantly, it's got the blacked out lights on the back. And we've also got T-tops. A lot of the copies don't have T-tops. We'll have a little look at the dash and everything. It's not lit up at the moment, although I'm sure that the owner will be back soon. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the next car. And here it is. This is the General Lee. Now, you used to see quite a few of these, didn't you, over the years? Real, uh, real like uh, Boss Hog in there. You see quite a few General Lees, but they are getting a bit thin on the ground now, and I don't mean because they're always being crashed. It just seems that um, in the replica side of things, there doesn't seem to be many General Lees anymore. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's just the decline of the TV show, or, but you think, you think people would still, uh, still love the car, wouldn't you? Let's go around the front. There's uh, Daisy Duke, only a teenage boy. Uh, yes, less said the better. Okay, so it's a General Lee. Right next to the General Lee, we have got Back to the Future. Now this is an insane, insane replica. This is so close to the movie car. So let's have a look inside. Of course, you need your uh, radiation suit. And literally in here, it's been signed by Christopher Lloyd, who played Doc Brown, of course. It's got all of the gadgets. It's got Marty McFly's night trainers. And, of course, you've got all of your settings to go back in time. I can think of a few places I would like to go back in time to, but unfortunately, this is just a replica, so uh, we can't take you back in time. So uh, let's have a look around the other side. I'll show you the rest of the, uh, the cockpit inside. All stainless steel, of course, which is, if you get a dent in that, it's a bugger to sort out. Right, we've got the hoverboard down the bottom. We'll just duck down and we'll check out. It's got all of the lights. Uh, it's got your flux capacitor, of course. It's got everything uh, that you could possibly want in a DeLorean replica. So imagine driving down the street in the history of your local town. People would just be like, well, they'd be spitting the Greggs out, wouldn't they? And uh, there is the back. And it is road legal as well, so you can use this on the road. It does drive around. Okay, next to the DeLorean is Street Hawk. Now, I've got to tell you, this TV show, it only ran for one season. I think the, uh, they were telling me there's only 13 episodes and this is based on the episode one bike. They, they did apparently change it slightly for the later episodes. It's even got your uh, your blue lights on the floor. What about that? Check that out. So street walk. Now, the chap that owns this car uh, has also built, this, uh, owns this bike, should I say, has also built this, uh, a replica of Norman Tuttle's um, Norman Tuttle's control room and there is Norman as well he's uh, looking a bit pale these days but uh, yeah check that out so it's Norman's control room and then we've also got uh, of course your uh, lot of your old 80s uh, memorabilia and, uh, and and look at this we've got Automan's car as well do you remember Automan although it's it's a kids version so uh, what about that 
Right, so that was uh, another section of cars there. We've got uh, one more section of cars to show you. Uh, and then we'll have a look at some of the traders tables here and some of the cosplayers as well. Right, here is uh, Doctor Who's car. And uh, you've also got Doctor Who's call box. Now this car uh, was on the Doctor Who series with um, John Pertwee. It's Bessie, look, check that out, there's Bessie. And uh, you've got your, your TARDIS. Lots of people having pictures taken and uh, you can also buy your pictures as well. We print them out there and it's all for charity as I say. So. Uh, £10 on your pictures, so if you'd like to have a picture, a professional picture, you can do that. And the great thing about this show is that uh, it's, it's geared, a lot of it, towards kids. So you've got areas like this, totally free. You've got colouring areas here, so the kids can all um, colour in the, uh, you know, all, the, all your Disney uh, things. We'll just whiz into this area here and we'll, uh, we'll have a wander through here and show you. So also they have uh, your glitter tattoos, the face and body art, there we are. And you can have your picture taken with a princess. And uh, you've got free crafting as well, and uh, lucky bags as well. You've got lucky bags for a pound. Uh, there we are, uh, we'll whiz round here. And of course you've got your ball pit, and uh, also you've got a uh, remote control cars. Remote control cars, check them out. Now let's check out some of the cosplayers here they are. We've got um, Henry Jones Sr, uh, Young Indy there as well. We've got the Terminator and uh, the gang as well. Uh, the Terminator, so I think he's done a few... Uh, done a few. Um, hey, hi. There we are, you see, there, there he is, the Terminator. He's done quite a few pictures today, must be, must be worn out. His batteries must be running out by now. Right, I'll have to be careful now not to get content matched because the band's coming on. I'm going to try and film a little bit of them, but you know what YouTube's like? Right, so uh, we have got the sort of the backstage uh, exhibit as a pass, so that means we can go up here. I'll just show you uh, from above, and you can get a better view of the actual scale of, uh, of this show at Bolton. So check this out. I'm above the Jurassic Park area. Over on the far left is uh, your Batman area. And then of course you've got all the movie cars there. So you can see just how big this is. Let's pop down the other end and take a look. And this is from the other end. Here we go, look at all these people. All of them have paid an admission fee, raising money for Darien House. So I'm above the James Bond selection now. There's that gorgeous maroon esprit. And you can see, we've got a lot of traders tables. I'll take you down to the traders tables very shortly it's so noisy up here could be a bit of trouble now Darth Vader's turned up he's making his way along with his stormtroopers he's got a Jawa down there with him as well so <laughs> let's see what's going on so we're uh, we're above now we're above now the band. They're going to play some Bond tracks now, Goldfinger. I think Darth Vader is a bit, a bit late to his own party there, wasn't he? We've got Boba Fett down there as well. So many people. Right, we're going to have a quick look round now at some of the stalls that are available. I've come back round now because it's a little bit quiet. The band have stopped playing just for a few minutes. So let's check out some of these stalls. Now this is brilliant. You've got all of the uh, the horror characters here. They're all on sale, of course. I believe that the traders have made donations to uh, Derian House. So they're all giving uh, money towards the charity. Check out all of those sweets there. Uh, lots and lots of your uh, Funko Pops. Got a few Funko Pops myself. And then we've got some brilliant artwork as well. Have a look at that. I think the band is striking up again. We'll have to be careful not to get content matched. So, uh, I'll put the other microphone on now because it might just blank out a little bit of the band. Loads of uh, autographed photos there. I'm, uh, 
I don't really want to say much about autographs photos at conventions because, uh, yeah, who knows? And I've even got uh, R2-D2 from uh, Star Wars is with us there, and a yellow paint job as well. Uh, right, let's have a wander around here. Loads of great stalls, check these out. I mean, you can really make a full day of this, and I would, I'd certainly suggest coming next year and, and all the years that follow. So much to see. Oh, look at all that fudge over there. Brilliant. Uh, even Batman is buying stuff, look. So, uh, if it's good enough for Batman, it's good enough for you and me. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a wander down here. Uh, we've got old jewellery and things there. And some brilliant, uh, some brilliant artwork here. I believe uh, a lot of these are, are drawn by this lady, uh, Leah Williams. And uh, check that artwork out. That is amazing. And they've got the uh, Miami Vice Testarossa there. What about that? Cushions and things. Let's carry on. Let's hope we don't get content matched. You only live twice. Uh, loads and loads of toys <coughs> and collectibles. What about this? Even got some Minecraft gear as well. And what about these? Um, busy bears, they're called. Busy, uh, busy beads, sorry. Busy beads are all made from... Uh, Bees. These are amazing, aren't they? Look at them. Oh, I'm loving the Pac-Man. Check that out. All made from beads. That is incredible, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Uh, more toys. Chucky dolls, spaceships. I mean, it's, it's almost, this is almost like a comic con meets a car show. And it's the only one, I mean, I go to a lot of car shows. It's the only one I can think that is actually like that. Right, the band have just done it a little bit. They've, they've finished now. Uh, Batman's buying a few toys. There we are, and uh, we'll we'll keep walking along here. Have a look at what else what else we've got for sale. I mean, there's so many different things. Check this out. Look at this. I've just spotted the one and only R two D two. Look at that. How incredible is that? And he's just having a wander on his own. Is that, oh, he's not very impressed. Do, do try and grab me with that. And uh, we're wondering where C three PO is, but he's probably having a hissy fit somewhere. <laughs> There he goes, uh, R2-D2, what about that? That's amazing. So we're just um, going around the back of a few more, a uh, few more of the toys and things. And then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at some of the uh, Darth Vader's here with his team. There they are. Darth oh, Vader. And yeah, this band, brilliant. Right, we've got some more Star Wars characters here. They don't make many of these uh, droids, do they? Uh, the stormtroopers are out and about. There's R2. We saw him before, didn't we? So having a lot of people having pictures with R2. And uh, over here, just nip around the back of that stormtrooper, is uh, Johnny Five. Check out Johnny Five there, look. There he is. From Short Circuit, of course. Fantastic. And he works as well. <laughs> How cool is that? So yeah, these, these cosplayers are absolutely brilliant. Now, again, I've got to tell you that um, all the people that you're seeing uh, that, are, that have come as characters, they've all given their own time. Okay, so they're not being paid to do this. We'll, we'll head back to Lara Croft uh, for the fellas. <laughs> there you are, lads. Don't say I don't do anything for you. <laughs> but um, yeah, so all of the cosplayers today that you see uh, wandering about have all given their own time to, to do this exhibition the only people who, who are getting paid are your um, your stars and if as we said you know if you want a picture with um, any of the stars uh, you have to pay and uh, I've, I don't know if they're giving anything to charity I couldn't tell you um, who knows maybe we can find out from the organisers there's one of the Jowers look there happy days look at that brilliant it's going a little bit quieter now, so we can we can get round a bit easier. One of the uh, snow troopers there. There he is. Brilliant. Certainly a brilliant day out, folks. Uh, so that's it from uh, the Bolton Arena for Derry and House Stars and Cars 2024. Absolutely brilliant. I certainly recommend it. Come next year, it'll be on again, and it'll probably be even bigger next year.